Pursuing your dreams takes stamina. It takes resilience. Trying to find that thing that fulfills you is not for the faint of heart. I've seen so many of my students shy away from new opportunities if it involves someone or some place that hurt their feelings. Well, toughen up and get over it. Who cares why it didn't work out? Second chances are all about clean slates. Just because something didn't work yesterday doesn't mean it won't work out today. So start fresh and embrace those second chances. Hey! Hey! Glad you guys could make it! Nice turnout, Mindy. The place is packed. What did you do? Post your party online? I know. Crazy, right? I think everyone was busy this weekend. Well, sorry we're so late. No problem, Mom. Did you bring that something sweet? Yeah! Here! Nice cake, Cece! Subtle! Really? I'll go put it out. <laughs> oh, wait! I almost forgot. There! You're scaring the guests. Whatever. Glad to see that women don't hold grudges. I thought it was funny. Kind of the last place I'd like to be right now. What's with you? This is actually much better than I expected. Look around. Not bad. Mm hmm I can hear the ticking in your head of all the cute girls in the room. Why does Mindy have to throw a Valentine's Day in May party? I mean, having it in February isn't bad enough. She's got to do it again in May. Spreading the joy of the holiday into the summer. I mean, are we in second grade? That is so lame. You might as well call it the people without any prospects party. Or the who the hell one date you party. Or a time for Desta soup in party. <sighs> Seriously, Valentine's Day sucks. That's why they stick it in the suckiest month of the year. Mindy should have just left it there. Well, put it in whatever month you want. That doesn't change the fact that we are still here at a single soiree instead of in the arms of some hottie somewhere. Not helping my rapidly plunging mood, Viv. Okay. I'd love to stay and listen to CC complain about her life, but I see a lovely lady that would look better with me standing next to her. Excuse me. And on that note, I am going to go stuff my face with salt. Hi. Is there an eating contest I'm unaware of? Excuse me? The, the chips. You're eating them in a rather competitive manner. What? No, I, I'm just, I'm having... You don't remember me, do you? Sure I do. You're the first guy to talk to me at this lame-ass party and you essentially just called me a cow. Moo. Hmm, back already. She wasn't my type. <laughs> Saw right through you, didn't she? I don't know what you mean, I just... I, I realized I want to be over there. Pathetic. I prefer to think of it as ambitious, Viv. You should understand that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, hooking up with your boss is certainly ambitious. He's not my boss. He's my mentor. <laughs> I'm sure he is. I know. It's probably going to wind up being a really bad move for my career. But I can't help it. I mean, the guy drives me crazy in a good way. That's all you need. More crazy. Hey, Viv. See that guy sitting over there on the couch? Yeah? Do I know him? Don't think so? Hmm. Oh god, he's coming over here. What? He's cute. I mean, is that a bad thing? No, he just totally insulted me to my face and now he's- Look, I was just kidding. I certainly don't think you're a cow. That's your opening line? I certainly don't think you're a cow. Now I see why you didn't want him coming over here. Wow, just- Wow. You really don't remember me, do you? Did we go to school together? No. Maybe it was at some sort of volunteer thing? No. Then did we work together at some point? No, Cece, I... Are you sure? Oh, shit. What? You're the are you sure guy. <laughs> You're the are you sure guy? I'm the what? <laughs> Gotta say, not what I was picturing. <laughs> The are you sure guy. <laughs> I get the sense you've told your friends. Oh uh, yeah. You look different. What is it? I shaved my mustache. <laughs> I shaved a mustache! Good at it. <laughs> okay. 
Hardy with no sleeves just gave me the eye. I'm going in. For some metric. Oh, look, oh, I think Mindy needs my help over. Perhaps I just let you two catch up. Don't you, don't you dare. So. Look, I just wanted to tell you that I've thought about you a lot since that one night we went out, but I was too embarrassed to call. Huh, I don't blame you. You should be embarrassed. Put it away. Well, I was sort of going through something then. You have skyrocketed to my friend's number one bad date story. About that, I, I realize I messed up what started out to be quite a great night. Why did you do that? I mean, everything was going so well and then, boom! It came out of nowhere. Well, actually, came out of somewhere, yes, your pants, but seriously, it was just- BC and Daniel seem to be hitting it off. I wouldn't say that exactly. How do you know him anyway? A uh, friend of a friend. I don't see much of him. Cece sure does. What? Apparently your friend of a friend, Daniel, is the are you sure guy. Oh my god! Apparently he has a way with words, not just zippers. He called her a cow and then walked over to talk to her. Really? He's supposed to be a nice, normal guy. Not from what I heard. Cece was already in a bad mood. This is just gonna put a big fat bow on her. I hate Valentine's Day and May Day. Maybe we should go save her. Yeah, we probably should. You know, the night could have gone there, but, but you ruined it. You killed the whole thing. I know, I know. I never should have listened to my jackass friend. Someone told you to do that? Well, he said I was too nice, that girls don't want that, that they want a guy who takes charge, and that that, that, strategy would work because that's what girls want, that's what they like. Huh, and you're an idiot too. Yeah, well, I was susceptible to some bad advice at that time given how badly things were going for me and how... What? How much I liked you. I was sure that given my slump, I was gonna mess it up and, and, and let you go. I really wanted to make an impression. Huh. well you did that all right. Mission accomplished. It's not me, that's not what I would ever normally do. In fact, it goes against every inclination I would ever have. Which is why I thought I should try it, since being myself didn't seem to be getting me anywhere. Must have been having some slump, or have a very persuasive friend. Clearly there was enough male idiocy to go around. But, but that's not the point. The, the point is... The point is... I'm sorry about how the night ended, and I came over here to let you know that it had nothing to do with you. I, I wouldn't want you feeling badly about it, about it somehow being a reflection on you. you. You're a lovely girl. If I'd have only been myself, it probably would have been very different. I just wanted you to know that. Dash is hitting up his second girl in a half hour. Hey, how are you? Wait, Fine. You? <laughs> isn't that Simone? Oh, he has Gold? balls. Mm -hmm. You said Simone, I didn't recognize her. Didn't she have long hair? Yeah, she cut it. A while. It. Yeah, it has been. And lost some weight, she looks great. Wait, what do you mean he has balls to talk to her? Oh, she hates him. <laughs> he wined and dined her about a year ago, charmed the pants off her, literally. I apologize. And then he totally blew her off, never called her again. She still talks about it. Wait. Dash is the horror story that Simone's always talking about? Yep. Uh, who knows, maybe he's apologizing to her. Dash. Man. Oh, no. Down tall. This time you can have your pickup for a straw. Well, this is turning into a very entertaining party. Wherever you, no, stop, no. Stop. no. Just, wait, you look hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta go. Just use lube first, at least. Get out. So, how's Simone? Yeah, only figured that out after I got over there and started talking. Shit, didn't recognize her. She seemed really happy to see you, though. Damn, that was harsh. Deservedly so. You're gonna start in on me too now. What did you expect? Once I realized it was her, I tried to explain. I, I, 
guess she didn't want to give me a second chance. Usually second chances involve some degree of sincerity. Yeah, you gotta be genuine. And truthful. Did you throw any of that in there, or are you just trying to save your ass? I told her she was hot. <laughs> well, maybe you should have taken some notes from Cece's guy over there. Looks like someone might get a second chance. Hey, you think if I went over to Simone and I did that no. thing with the... I've seen so many of my students shy away from new opportunities if it involves someone or some place that hurt their feelings. Well, toughen up and get over it. Who cares why it didn't work out? Second chances are all about clean slates. May I interest you in a chip? <laughs> sure. Would you like one too? <laughs> I'd love one. Thank you. That suits you. Yeah, you think I could pull this off? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, maybe you should do um, this. The unibrow, yes. Yeah. Just because something Love didn't it. work yesterday that would, that would doesn't mean it won't work out today. <laughs> so start fresh and embrace those second chances. One, two, three. How are you? Fine. How are you? Uh, good. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Simone. Hey. Hi. It's been a while. Yes, it has been. Didn't recognize you. Mm, yeah. How's everything been? It's been fine. Awesome. Fine. Yeah. Great, great to hear. Great to hear. Mm -hmm. I love How? the glasses. I love Thank you. Them. I love yours. Pops your eyes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Are they real? No. No, I love not. As, not as great as yours. Thanks. No. So, um, about what happened. Yeah, yeah, let's hear that. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, <laughs> um, I apologize. Mm -hmm. This is wrong. Mm -hmm. And I shouldn't have done it. Great. And you were worth more. Oh, really? Thank you. And you deserve the best. Mm -hmm. And I would love to take you out again. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> This time you can have your pick of restaurant. No. Wherever you know. No. Stop. no. Just I mean, you, quit. Look, you look hot. You look hot. I am hot. Also, I'm gonna put this in so many places in your body if you keep talking to me. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. Just like in twist. Never had it there. Yeah. No. You're going to if you don't walk away. Okay. Yeah, you gotta go. Just use a little pressure, please. Get out. Hi, thanks for watching. Click below to subscribe and let us know what you think. But it's the internet, so be nice.